Happy Monday, everyone. This is Mr. Roberts broadcasting to you. I hope you had a great weekend. We had a lot of good activity here on campus Friday with athletic events and a fantastic middle school Halloween dance. I would like to especially thank our parent volunteers and our faculty who were there that evening. It was a lot of fun and uh, I've seen a few of the photos and uh, got to attend for just a little while and it was great fun and a great way really to lead into Halloween this week on Thursday. So thank you again to all involved with our middle school Halloween dance. We've got a really busy week and part of my focus today, part of this video missive is just to update you. Uh, Palmer Trinity School really prides itself in embracing the election process and walking through it the right way and doing it in good spirit and really teaching and working with our students about being good citizens and being aware and active and, and having really healthy dialogue. And uh, many of you received my letter way back at the beginning of the year encouraging our decorum and how we walk through this time together. And I'm really proud of how our community has gone through this entire process and we have a special opportunity happening tomorrow and I will introduce Dr. Aldo Regalado from our history department and our DEI coordinator to share with you a little bit of some of the events and activities, some that have already taken place and some that are happening in regards to this year's election. Hello Falcons, as Mr. Roberts said, I am here to talk to you about the uh, election 2024 programming that we're running through our Mosaic curriculum. Rooted in the school's Episcopal mission, Mosaic embraces diversity and fosters dialogue across differences to build understanding and empathy, which are values critical to creating a loving and inclusive community. Political differences can often feel divisive, especially in today's climate, and this year's Mosaic curriculum is designed to help our students navigate those divisions with respect and thoughtfulness. So far, we've held a convocation focused on the power of civil discourse. We've hosted a session where students explore, explored and uh, discussed their own political identities. And we've invited investigative reporter Jim DeFeedy to speak on the role of responsible journalism in a democracy. Next week, we will welcome Democratic Representative Kevin Chambliss and Republican Senator Alexis Kaladiud, um, who will speak on the importance of bipartisan collaboration. After the election, we will gather to debrief and, in keeping with tradition, watch and discuss the President's inaugural address together. Throughout this process, the PTS Junto, a student group dedicated to exploring and discussing politics, has been meeting almost weekly, sparking thoughtful conversations. The level of engagement and enthusiasm we've seen from our students has been inspiring and we're looking forward to continuing this important work. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Regalado, for your message and your hard work during this season. And I'd also like to give a special thanks, Mayor Karen Cunningham of Palmetto Bay. Uh, Mayor Cunningham has been a great friend of our school and is a parent of an alum of our school. And we've really had a great partnership over the years. And she has helped arrange so many of these good activities and these kinds of conversations. And we thank Mayor Cunningham. She will also be here uh, more next week about this announcement, but just a little plug early, we will be celebrating Veterans Day with a very special breakfast and chapel service, which has been a great tradition of our school, and Mayor Cunningham helps us with that as well, so thank you, Mayor. And finally, one last plug for our annual fund. We've got great momentum going. Thank you for those of you who have already made a gift and know that it makes a difference in the lives of our entire Palmer Trinity School community. All the best, have a wonderful week, and as always, go Falcons.